Hey everyone, Git and GitHub can be pretty tricky, so I want to show you how we can get this code and then also get the different branches on your computer. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this SSH link and I'm copying it here. A lot of what I'm going to be doing is, here, is going to be here in the terminal. So let's just type ls to see where we're at, and I'm on my desktop right now. You can see there's this .env file. The reason why you're not seeing it is because it's a hidden file. I can tell by that little the dot right before the name. If I said ls-a, now I see .env. So let's clone that repository. I'm going to give it a little bit of time. And we can see the React demo class popped up. All right, so let's type ls to see that again. And let's cd into that directory. OK. Now that I'm in this root directory, if I type ls-a, I can see the folder that's tracking all this information. If I type, LS, if I type uh, git branch-l, it's going to show me all the branches that are on my local computer right now. And I can see main. If I wanted to see all the remote branches, I say git branch dash r. Now these are all branches that are on the re on the repository remotely, but are not on my computer. I can get all of these branches by individually pulling them in. I'm going to say git checkout dash dash track origin forward slash components. And now and uh, when I type tab, it's going to auto complete it for me. So I'm going to hit enter. Awesome. I can tell that now I'm on a new branch called components. Let's see what's happening with the code while I do this. So I'm going to open this up with VS code. Awesome. Let's get into app.js. So now, if I say uh, git branch-l, I see that I have components in main. If I move to main, you can see that now I'm, I have the two different versions of this code. So let's go ahead and check out what the other uh, branches are that we can grab on our computer. All right, I already grabbed components, so what I need is origin components too. So I'm going to say git checkout dash dash track. Let's go ahead and paste that in. I'm going to hit enter, <clears throat> and we can see that we got all the code from that version of the code. All right, it looks like we still have state and then state two to go. So I'm going to say git checkout dash dash track. And let's go ahead and grab that. Awesome, looks like we have this. And now let's go ahead and get state two as well. Awesome, so now I've got all the different versions of that code from the different branches. Great, I hope this helps.